Hello and welcome back Trans for Dummies. I'm Brett and um, I'm doing a very impromptu uh, recording because I got this pretty sexy fun bottle today in the, uh, the old shipment, the old mail, the old whatever, mail. And, um, you know, I, <laughs> I'm just very intrigued about this. Uh, if you don't know what this is, <clears throat> so it's Bakta, and this is the new company of um, uh, Mr. Bakta, forgetting his first name, who started Whistlepig. And so, obviously, someone who's shown themselves to be a, a, a fan and a, a collector of rye whiskeys and someone who wanted to showcase rye whiskeys, and now has this company who is basically taken that to a different level with, with different blending uh, uh, experiments with old casks and all kinds of stuff. So really unique bottle. I kept hearing things about it. I kept hearing good things about it. Um, you know, where a lot of people now are finishing in barrels, this is truly a blend. So this is, this takes, here I'll tell you what it is. This has got um, basically five-ish year old rye whiskey, 60% is, of the blend is just of the, is the rye whiskey. Then it's got 30% Exo uh, Calvados um, uh, brandy in the blend. Then the, the crazy intrigue, what's well, all intriguing, but the crazy intriguing thing is the different aged um, Armagnacs that they have in here. There's it's only 10%, but it, the 10% of Armagnac has in it 1928 vintages, 1941 vintage, 1962, 1973, and 1996. So I just did a quick search for like if you wanted to get yourself a bottle of 1928 vintage Armagnac, a full bottle. Um, you're talking about 3000 and some dollars or whatever. Of course, depends on the bottle you're getting. So I'm sure it's like, boop, you know, a percent is the or less is the 1928. And then we kind of move up the line. But still, that's crazy. I've never had a hundred year old anything, you know. So so the whole idea is intriguing. The bottle is beautiful. Um, and I, like I said, I kept hearing good things about it. And so I just sort of impulsively bought it. And was like, oh, I'm excited to try this. And like, as soon as I bought it, I mean, I think the day I bought it, Lord Porter, uh, Matt Porter, did, <laughs> did a review of this and just ripped it a new a-hole. Um, and essentially, you know, said what very likely it could be that it's sort of just almost like a... Um, Oh, like, what would you even say? Like a liqueur almost, right? So it's like got, it doesn't really even come off like a rye whiskey. It comes off smoother, sweeter, just in this weird, like I'm more of a mixer than a straight drinker, which it absolutely could be. Um, it wasn't that much, so that's a positive. The good news is it's a beautiful bottle. So if I had a public shelf, I don't know where to turn my bottles ever, but if I had a public shelf, this would look really great up on it. Um, and it's a good story, at the very least. So I thought, I'm going to pop this with you guys and just, I'm going to give you my absolute first impressions because this is unique and I don't know. I, 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 I saw good reviews. I don't know. But I trust Matt Porter's palate. But also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a. There's a possibility that Matt just anything that's not, you know, straight and kind of in the lane maybe isn't gonna be something he he's gonna appreciate. Whereas I can, I'm kind of getting to a place where I'm like, I'll take things outside the lanes. Um, and if you can hear the music, by the way, I was like, okay, French, popular French artists, you know, for our uh, brandies and sherries and all that. And uh, Daft Punk popped up. I'm like that's awesome. I love some Daft Punk. So, but they've got their their most famous album that I can't remember the name of right now that came out a few years ago. They just released a no drums version of it. Okay, so that's crazy. So it's a perfect background mix. It's groovy and kind of sassy and a little French. So anyway, let's pop this and see what this is all about. Matt Porter. 
That was a pretty weak pop. So, so far, Matt is on point with this. That's a lot. And I haven't had anything to drink today. It's really just being full disclosure. It's 4.13 on a work day. It's a Tuesday. So, mm, probably shouldn't even be drinking. But um, So, this hasn't breathed. There's no breathing happening here. You know, at least want to let this sit out for at least five minutes since it has five-year rye in it. And with the other stuff in there, I'd probably, you know, just err on the side of a little longer and go maybe a 10-minute. So I'm going to give it a lot of swirl. I'm getting, I'm getting something off of it. That's for sure. It's giving me a, it's giving me some aromas are wafting in here. So, so while I'm swirling, how's your day then? Put in the comments down below. Have you had this? Any of the Bacta stuff? Are you a Whistle Pig fan? Um, I don't. I, I've had, a, a, I've had some Whistle Pig. I've never owned a Whistle Pig. I always kind of took it into the. Little, little overpriced for what you're getting category, but they do good things, I know. And um, I, I know, I think I had a sampler thing one time. The 10 year was probably my favorite. It probably went 10 first, set 12 second, and the 15 was my least favorite just of that. So, are you a Whistle Pig fan? Are you a Rye fan? Have you had the Bacta? Or are you intrigued by any of this? Just let me know what's, what's going on with you. All right, let's see what the heck this thing is doing. So, I'm getting ready to drink in some portion, in some dosage, in some amount, a hundred, almost, a 96 year old Armagnac. Like, what the heck? How does that even exist? I don't know, it's crazy. The music's tripping me out. It's kind of probably gonna go with this trippy French Armagnac-y thing. <laughs> Hmm. That is, yeah, that is different. That is definitely has a lot of sweetness in there. Very rounded edges. Nothing spiky. I also like that they proof. It's it's a hundred proof. So if something like this, if it was like a real liquory kind of thing, it might come in a lot lower. So the fact it's a hundred excites me. That is just really nice. Um, so far um, it may be too smooth and sweet and that may be kind of where Matt was what was talking about but that smells really nice right now so I'm gonna take a little drink and know that that's gonna do weird things for our first drink and then it might change the whole nose too so Hmm. That's really interesting. What would you classify this like? Okay, the, the drink uh, opened up the nose a little bit and now you're getting a little bit more of the of the rye coming out of it. But definitely the, the Armagnacs are in there. It's really nice. It's it's got a. I think it's. I like that nose. It's not super rich and deep necessarily, but it's a little different every time. And you you got this much stuff blended in here. That's not surprising. That it's going to kind of something different's going to come out of it each time you smell it. But I like that. You know, I like a little different nose every time. And first of all. We're up all night to get lucky is starting to roll right now. So I think that's really, really neat. Um, it's different, you know, and maybe like Matt Porter, I like barrel proof. I like a ride. I like spiky kind of twists and turns. Um, I like an adventure drink. So this isn't that. This is... Um, very smooth, very easy to drink, you know, putting those sherries in there, 40% um, worth of, of different things, different um, uh, brandies and, and such, um, is changing that. Um, but at the same time, where it's not like a huge adventure drink, it's got layers and depth that are unique. 
very smooth, very easy to drink, very much something you can pour with your friends and first of all have this beautiful bottle out that talk about this second of all have a great story behind it and that's so much fun so much of what we do is the, the talking and the story and the what's going on with this thing that we're drinking and this has that in spades if i were gonna score which i should because i haven't done this in a while it's really quirky it's just different every time let me give it an 8.5. It is really light. It is really sweet. Kind of candy almost. Not sour, punchy, citrus sweet. It does. It does. It is. It's, it, it's not to a liqueur. It's not that far by any stretch. It's not that syrupy, sugary... Thing, right it's it but it is but it, it but ah, it almost in the palate it kind of hits me like a weeder where it just or a real low proof where it just sort of it's it's refreshing it's light it's not doing a ton in there it's not offending anything it's a seven maybe in the palate the finish is a little bit more I think the rye kind of comes back a little bit it doesn't come all the way back Yeah, mm, kind of the same. I, the the, the palate and the finish are kind of similar. Sweet, easy, light, rounded edges. Um, not a ton going on, but it's nice. It's easy. It's a seven. Um, so... That would be a 14, 22 and a half divided by three is a seven point, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's 7.5. Oh, so maybe I don't need to write all the things down. I just need to talk it through. I'll figure it out. It's different every time. Anyway, all right. Well, thanks for not a top shelf. That's not gonna be like, a, oh, it's the best thing you've ever had. Um, it's a good story. It's a pretty bottle. It's, you've got old juice in there. Um, there's history in that. Um, this is this is a this is a cool thing to have. I would suggest this is a buy for the price. I can't remember. It was like 60, 50, 60. I don't know. It wasn't that much uh, for what you're getting. Um, to have something that everyone at your party could have some of and probably drink. You know, for your big, for someone that's not a big bourbon drinker or likes smoother or low proof stuff. This, they would enjoy this a lot. You know, rye folks can get a little something out of this because there's a little bit of rye in there. I think weeded folks that like that smooth and that sweet and that easy on the palate, that they would get something out of this. Uh, I like the nose at the end. It usually kind of gets harsh there, but I think it's kind of helping it. It's definitely not gross, weird. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with Sir Matt on this one. I could definitely go say I could definitely agree in the sense that it's not for everybody, and it's not something you'd want to pull down if you're thinking you want a nice straight pull of something good. You might not reach for this first. Um, it'd be interesting to try this in cocktails. I bet it probably it might not be spicy to hold up and make a great Manhattan, uh, but it'd be good mixed in with some other stuff maybe. Um, I don't know. Intriguing. Let me know what you think. Uh, a one-off bottle pop for you guys just because if I'm gonna drink it I might as well just let you guys in here and drink it with me you're awesome I love what you're doing as long as what you're doing includes following and loving and supporting what we're doing here at Transfer Dummies have a good day guys bye